So this is Ellie, the <laughs> one that got COVID first. Now recovering from COVID-19, one, two, three Quebec babies, triplets who were born prematurely on November 29th, caught the virus just weeks after they were born, but their mothers say they're doing well. We saw one on the screen and then we were like, okay, um, his heart is beating. We were stressed about the heart, you know? And, and after that, we saw another one. We're like, okay, we knew it. We, had, we have twins. And then he sh showed us another baby. We're like, is it the same baby? <laughs> <laughs> but it was a, a third one. So, yeah, it was uh, at eight weeks. Yes, we because knew. we were just supposed to have one baby. Yeah. So... <laughs> we only have one room. <laughs> Finding out that they were having triplets was merely the first surprise for the Fortier family. On November 29th, the three bundles of joy were born prematurely. Ellie and Jake weighing just over three pounds at birth, and Mila just over two. Then, weeks later, they caught COVID-19. It was really hard. It, it, we, we lived a hard time at that moment and it was stressing you know we don't know how the babies how it's gonna turn just because it's covid and we never know laurence fortier and nikia rossignol say it's been over a year since they've seen anyone only going to the hospital but rossignol tested positive and so did the triplets even though they for the most part were asymptomatic they were moody they were tired um it was really stressful for us but we can see the light. Children, teenagers and newborns are among the rising number of Canadians being hospitalized with COVID-19 as the highly transmissible Omicron variant spreading like wildfire across the country. Back in December, a baby under two months of age died of COVID at Montreal St. Justin Hospital, becoming Quebec's youngest victim. I think everybody must be very thankful that uh, these uh, triplets are all recovering nicely and it doesn't appear to have been a severe case or have any complications. Um, and we know, though, that prematurity in general is a risk factor for severe disease in uh, many respiratory viral infections, and we think that would probably be the same for, for COVID-19. Two Ontario Children's Hospitals in Ottawa and Hamilton also saying this week that they admitted six babies under 12 months old due to COVID-19. Dr. Jesse Pappenberg adds that vaccinating moms during pregnancy, limiting social contacts, and frequent hand washing are ways to protect newborns who have immature immunity systems. Some symptoms to watch out for in babies and kids under five who can't receive COVID immunization yet include runny nose, cough, sore throat and fever, as well as lethargy and dehydration. As for the Fortier family, despite all the surprises, they are happy and feeling blessed. Their three miracles are recovering well. It's the surprise of our life, but being together, it's, it's like the best thing that could have happened to us. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News. This is City News Everywhere.